Welcome to another very special episode of Film Fanatics. And today, just in time for Halloween, Adam, we're going to talk about scary movies. We're going to talk about our favorite scary films from the past five years, and maybe even one real special classic that we're going to recommend. So, oh, my God. It is him. <laughs> I'm going to start you off with two films, and I'm putting them together, Adam, because oh no, they're cheater. two foreign films. And even though they've come out a few years ago, I, when I talk to people and recommend them, I find that a lot of people haven't seen them because they are foreign film. The first one, both of these films came out in 2007. The first one's called The Orphanage, which is a very creepy, atmospheric mystery film set in Spain, in Love northern it. Spain, which I, where I actually have been, Oviedo, Spain featuring great Spanish actors. We don't want to say much about it, except that it will remind you a little bit of The Sixth Sense, right? Yeah, for sure. It's okay. terrific movies. And then another film that came out in 2007 was uh, called The Host. Yeah. It was, at the time, the most successful uh, South Korean film. And it is set in South Korea. Yeah. And it's d definitely a monster film. Yeah. But it's, it's a creepy. It's also very funny it's and a dysfunctional goofy. family in it. It's kind of li like Little Miss Sunshine with monsters that's in it. I that's guess a you good way say. to describe it. And yeah, let me say, movie. if you've never seen a Korean film, this is where to start. Right. So next on my list is a film from a couple of years ago. It's called Oculus. And uh, right. this is a fantastic, creepy, atmospheric movie that owes more to the likes of Stephen King. It's not overly gory. Uh, it's about these uh, two, a pair of siblings who are doing battle with a supernatural presence that resides in an antique mirror. And if you haven't seen it, it's a must. I highly recommend this movie. Mike Flanagan, the director, has a new film opening this weekend called, it's the, the Ouija. Oh, uh, right, right. Which is opening, opening this, weekend. this weekend, actually. Mm -hmm. And he's also just been tapped by John Carpenter himself to do a new Halloween movie. Wow. And he has a film called Hush on Netflix. Right. But Oculus is fantastic. It's on DVD and Blu-ray right now. I like to uh, recommend this next movie by the director, M. Night Shyamalan. And Who? it is The Visit. And I consider The Visit uh, his little mini comeback. And oh, it's without a, a doubt a comeback. Yeah. No question. So, well, it didn't do big, big dollars at the box office, but it earned no, it a was, lot it of was artistic a credibility. Yeah. You know? It was a low budget, And, too. you know, these two, uh, this brother and sister, get sent out to this remote East Pennsylvania farm where they're going to visit their grandparents that they yeah. haven't seen in a long time. That's all we're going to say. Yeah, very and creepy grandparents. And funny, too. <laughs> and oh, really very don't funny. know where it's going. Excellent. Yeah. Would you mind getting inside the oven to clean it? Stop! Now, stop! Up next, another recent film, and I know we both love this movie, and we sing its praises every chance we get, and it's called uh, The Babadook. Uh -huh. It's an Australian import, fantastic gem, and what I really love about this movie, it really is so much more than a horror movie. There's a lot <laughs> more going on. This is a movie about... Child in peril. Yes, it's a movie about <laughs> loss and grief, and a mom... Uh, just reeling from tragedy, trying to take care of her troubled son. Uh, and th the, the supernatural presence in this movie is really, really creepy. Like he's, he's a, a boogeyman for a new generation. Mm -hmm. And my number one is a movie that I love so much and there's just not a better movie to watch during <laughs> Halloween. And it's a film called Trick or Treat. <laughs> it screams Halloween. It is to Halloween as Christmas Story is to Christmas. So entertaining. And it is on DVD and Blu-ray as well. Definitely seek Trick or Treat out. So we also wanted to throw out one classic each. Right. And I'm going to throw it over to you. And you know, Adam and I have been doing film re uh, reviews together for many, many years. And so I try to come up with a film to stump Adam a little bit that he might not pick. And that's hard because... Adam is definitely a horror Mine expert. won't stump you. So <laughs> mine is uh, over 30 years old, and it's called The Reanimator. I love The Reanimator. See, I couldn't stump it. Stuart him. Gordon. But Fantastic. The reason I chose it is because not very many people have probably seen you it. You are this sick. Year, <laughs> it is sick. My all-time favorite horror movie, it's also one of my favorite movies of all time, period, is John Carpenter's The Thing, right. which is also one of the greatest remakes ever made. Features Kurt Russell, Wilford Brimley, a great all-star cast. Local resident Wilford Brimley. Local resident Wilford Brimley, Brimley, that's right. You can feel the cold. The movie is so chilly, absolutely amazing. John Carpenter's The Thing. Shout Factory just put out a Blu-ray with tons of extras, commentaries behind the scenes. I highly recommend you pick that up. So in local news, really quickly, we're yes. talking about horror movies. Yes. So this seems like the perfect time to this bring this the up. Season. Bruce, my friend, are you a fan of clowns? Yes. Clowns well, are getting a bad rap right good now. Good clowns or bad clowns? Uh, both. This is actually our 15th anniversary of Horror Fest, which we've been doing forever here in lovely St. George. And we're affectionately referring to this year's event as Horror Fest Episode 15, Attack of the Clowns. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. The centerpiece of the event 
is our long-running guerrilla filmmaking challenge where we invite uh, local filmmakers. We give them a theme. In this case, the theme was clowns. We give them a limited amount of time to make a short film, a six-minute short, using any resources available to them. I'm telling you, Bruce, this is the biggest turnout we've ever had. We've got over right. 20 movies. We're going to cap off the whole event with a screening of an 80s B-movie classic, Killer Clowns so tell from us Outer when Space. This is all, all going down. Megaplex is... Red Cliff Cinemas, okay. Saturday, October 29th, 6 p.m. It's going to be a fantastic night. Everybody come. And let's close out the show by mentioning that Rocky Horror Picture Show is coming back to town ah, as well. A four-day a four run. They're doing it at Main Street Cinema for St. George Locals, and they do it upright. This is not watered down. I mean, they do the whole thing. <laughs> Throwing toast, rice, people come dressed up. It's fantastic. Well, so. let's do the time warp again. Absolutely. We'll talk more about that on our next and show. And there you go. Another very special episode of Film Finance. I'm film critic Bruce Bennett. And I'm Jason Voorhees. I'm Adam Mass with Cinemass.net. And we're film fanatics. Are, Are you? We're horror fanatics. Yeah, definitely. I can't wait. You kind of inspired me. You've I given did? me a lot of great recommendations over the years. Have I? In that genre. Oh, I appreciate that. You've done horror the same movies for me. Are